Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Christy Casciano. A warning from Syracuse police. Officers are seeing more burglaries in the Syracuse University neighborhoods. But it's not enough to simply lock the door. Syracuse police gave New Channel 9's Nicole Samavilla an up-close look at what burglars typically look for. Year-to-date in this area, we have 78 burglaries. Walking through the university neighborhood, Sergeant Matthew Malinowski gave me a different view than I'm used to. The only thing that's stopping you from getting there is that screen. Taking me through trouble spots through the eyes of a burglar, looking for more than just unlocked doors. I see that there's that object on the front yard that they could stand on, and now you can see a window that would be traditionally inaccessible becomes accessible. It's what you're doing around your house that makes all the difference. We are saying that they're using common household objects that you leave on the outside and gives them a couple extra footing just to get up to that window. Things like tables, chairs, even your blue recycling bins. For here, for example, you have this pallet leaning up against the house. Now, that's almost like a ladder, so you're almost inviting someone just to climb up it and get into your house. Simple changes that may do more than you realize. So How just seeing that... Well, that's what would tip me off if I was a burglar. I would say, you know, they're, they're leaving the garage open. The house I might, might be have as a, well. Yeah. And if you see something strange or someone wandering around who doesn't live there, help your neighbors out and tell police. We're all neighbors. We all have to live here together so we can work together, kind of make the community safer. Because you never know who may be lurking in your yard or underneath your windowsill. In the university neighborhood, Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9.